Hey, this is just dry concrete mix. Just powder, see it? Just powder. Ready mix out of the bag. And I've smashed it down flat in the center, the square place. And this is just a plastic lid to a five gallon bucket. I've got a, the ground wire coming up through the bottom and spread out underneath a copper plate underneath that uh, ready mix, underneath the, the, the grains there, underneath the, the sand or whatever you want to call it. You can see the black wire coming in over there and going under. So that's my negative. Here's my positive. I've uh, temporarily taped a piece of copper on my positive. I was working with the magnet a while ago, messing with it, <laughs> 15,000 volts. And by the way, here's my switch. It's just a two by four with a regular house switch on it with the receptacle. And that's what I kick on my uh, transformer with. So anyway, I want to show you what this does to this stuff. No vacuum, just regular air. And check this out, what it does after I do it a while. I'm going to move it around. Like it was a vortexing plasma storm. Oops, I sprayed it there. certain spots and just kind of burn to them. You notice how that arc kind of gets crazy on it. Pretty cool. And I can move over and it'll pick another spot. It'll always go back to those spots because it's melted it into a good conduction, I guess. Touched it again. I just wanted to show you that. I'll show you what it did. Underneath there on the bottom is just a copper plate like that laying on the, the green lead, and then they got the uh, ready mix just piled on top of it. It's oh, a half inch thick, maybe. But I'll show you what the burns do. You can see them. See all the little pot marks? Pretty cool. That's where I, you know, dug in with the tip of that accidentally. But all the little black dots are where the, the current went in. And then it'll turn it to white ash, if you see that spot there. Turns it into white ash where it cooks it. But I was trying to get a vortex going. Trying to get it to go in a circle, maybe throw some sand around, but it won't do that. I don't have enough power. I thought that was kind of cool, what it does to even the flat surface after I flattened it out. I just used this other piece of copper, just kind of, you know, ran it across there, got it piled up where it was smooth, and then laid it down, pressed it in, and lifted it back off, and you see the flat leaves which is cool this time I'll try not to
touch it. Finding particular locations now where it wants to connect. I thickened it up too much when I scraped some up on there and then smashed it down. It's a little too thick now. But it'll find a place and then it'll cook its way down where it can get connection. Pretty extreme arcs going. Pretty cool. cat checking it out. Don't get her face fried. <laughs> Kitten just showed up here. I took her in. Uh, another reason I can't, I'm going to find a way to darken the room so you can see that better. You can see the arcs where it wanted to go to ground and kept going back to repeating over them particular ones. My shop has a window there I can't really cover and I've got skylights. <laughs> Although two, four, six of them and another window there. <clears throat> Even if I shut the doors, it's still pretty bright in here. The only way I can get it really dark is to do it at night. And my wife don't really care for me to do that. Say hello, Ivy. Kitty, kitty. Say hi. That's my assistant. Well, my learning assistant. There's the senior assistant, half blind cat. But anyway, I thought that was cool how that did that through just uh, ready mix concrete, you know, dry, get down, just ready mix. I didn't think it would do that. I don't know what silica sand would do uh, or any other kind of, I might try some dirt out of my yard, see what it does. This did some pretty wild cooking, if you can see, pot marked right through it. Anyway, thought that was cool. We'll move on. By the way, here's my dark room. Transformer, all the wires going into a table under there. Just camera stand and covered her over. That's how I did it. For anyone want to know how I got rid of the skylights. Yep. Okay, in the dark. <laughs> Here's that ball of concrete, dry concrete. That's what it does. I don't think the camera picks up how purple this is. It's just absolutely purple. Look at the orange flares where it touches the concrete, but the, the streamers are all purple. I don't think my camera picks up that color very well on this. Some fine filaments though. get a real long arc as you notice it's, it's pretty small it's contained not like the that's hitting straight to the copper plate down there 
Anyway, so while we're sitting here, power down, move the concrete, and I'm going to put that rock I had used before. This is that rock I was using on those experiments, my wife's landscaping rocks. I took a hammer and broke it, and you can see it's real black on the inside. I guess it's just weather worn on the outside. I'm assuming it was all black at one time. But that's how it broke when I smacked it with a hammer. So maybe someone knows what kind of rock this is. I have no idea. You know, it's pretty solid looking, but it's not magnetic. I mean, magnet won't stick to it like it does granite. It's just wild looking. Real tight, you know, formed. Uh, the way it looks. It's just really tight formed granules. Anyway, that's what that rock is, if anybody knows. Letters. My wife's landscaping rock, which it gave off some pretty wild results. And here we go with it. That's what it does. That's the copper plate down there. Through the rock. I don't know if you can see all the little filaments. There you go. Pretty wild. And they're absolutely purple too. See the lightning bolts go under the copper. That is absolutely amazing. A little bit of resistance getting over the edge of the rock to the copper. And those bolts are just amazing. Like I said, they're going around the edge of the rock on a kind of a sharp edge down to the copper plate. You can see them straight going. They get up here, they're little filaments. That is too cool. Lightning over the desert. Ha -ha. Tom Banks would say, I have created lightning. Pretty cool just on the rock, though. You can see the purpleness now. Concrete looks like that, but not this intensely purple. It's just unbelievable what this weird rock does. Two other rocks will do the same thing with similar con 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 consistency or components in them. Let there be lightning. Cool. And direct ground to the copper. Let there be lightning. I love that white lightning. Well, I have had moonshine before, but not this kind of light lightning. Anyway, thought that was cool. Producing it in the dark. And if I get away too far, it looks like a blowtorch. <laughs> Up on just on the rock. Looks kind of like a little blowtorch. Love those lightning bolts. Anyway, I thought that was cool. Off and later's.